You guys. It's finally here the H2D Full Laser Combo 40 Watt arrived at my door late yesterday afternoon. I couldn't wait to dig in and unbox it. First things first I was a little worried when the box arrived, because it was a little tore up and ripped. Once I sliced it open I knew we were good to go. This is one thing Bamboo Labs does really well is their packaging. There was no way for this H2D to go anywhere. From the initial slice to removing the printer from its enclosure I was confident it was shipped safely. The directions also are very easy to follow for opening the printer. They clearly mark the tape that is to be removed and in the correct order for a flawless unboxing of the H2D. Once I had the H2D fully unboxed, it was time to follow the quick start directions. Now, remember guys I do have 3D printer experience as I have a Vox Lab, Elegoo and Bamboo Lab A1 but I am also 13 years old, so for this part I recruited some help from my parents to ensure we set everything up properly. It is very important to follow the quick set directions exactly as they are written as to not ruin the H2D. The first thing we did was to remove all of the outer film and tape from the machine. Next was to ensure that we removed all of the screws that were holding the AMS2 Pro in place for shipping. Bamboo Lab once again gives very clear and thorough directions for setup. Next it was time for us to set up the AMS2 Pro. Again the directions provided were very clear for each step of the setup process however it would make it seamless if they decided to also label the bags with each of the items in it. While there are not a lot of bags or extra items to install for setup, a lot of the tubing does look similar in the photos and without 3D printing experience I could see how this would get confusing. Now it was time to move the H2D to its final setup location so that we could get ready to install all of the filament tubes and load the filament. Once I had all of the filament tubes in place and the H2D in its final location, it was time to place the emergency key and power up the H2D. Check it out, it is much larger than I expected and had a clean and crisp look, very sleek. Once powered on, the ease of the setup continued. The set by sets guide on the control screen walked you through everything you needed to do in a specific order. From choosing your language to connecting your H2D to your Wi-Fi network, it was easy completed in minutes. Next we loaded the 5 rolls of filament and began the initial calibration. It directs you to first do this for the 3D printing module of the printer. The 3D printing calibration only took about 15 minutes and was a success. One quick reminder is to remove the last pieces of foam after your initial calibration from under the heat bed. The directions were very clear that it was not to be removed before, but it is also very easy to forget about them. It was now time to test out the H2D for the first time. We went to the screen and were able to choose the speed benchy. Well, because is there anything else you should ever print first? Look at that clean and crisp print. Another great thing about the H2D is that while it has a safety shutoff when the door is open for the leaser use, it can be opened when you are 3D printing so you can watch your creations come to life. Not to mention the high resolution camera gives you crystal clear live views from any of your devices. This is one thing that the A1 lacked on was the high frame rate camera. Next it was time for us to install and calibrate the 40 watt laser module. This is what I have been waiting for guys. I could not believe how easy it was to install the module and calibrate it took minutes, and then we were ready to use the laser. I decided I would start with the cork board provided and the template on the bamboo suite to create some personalized coasters. Guys they came out great. They took a total of 31 minutes and had no flaws. Check these out. Man I was ready to try everything after this and I am certain this printer is going to keep me busy. I have already lasered the dog tag provided. Look at it go. A stainless steel water bottle. Now even though Bamboo Lab has not released the rotator component I was still able to successfully laser it. Lastly I engraved the charm provided and again, it came out great. Take a look. Guys this has really been a great experience from the opening of the box to production with the H2D 40 watt full laser combo. While I have loved each of my other 3D printers this one is truly the Lamborghini of 3D printers. Bamboo Lab knocked it out of the park with this one. Don't forget to subscribe to my page as I will be doing videos on 3D printing, laser cutting, laser engraving and the full maintenance of the system. Thanks for watching.